I went to one nutritionist, she said to me, the good news is you can have all the salads you want. Whew. That is good news. I was nervous. I came in here thinking, please, God, anything. Don't take away my salad. I can have all the mixed greens I want. Stop, I'm getting a chubby. <laughs> she wanted me to have salad as the food. No. <laughs> Salad's not food. Salad comes with the food. <laughs> Salad is a promissory note that food will soon arrive. <laughs> if my brain sees a salad, it says, something good is going to happen soon. Wait right here. <laughs> Plus, there's no joy with salad. It's, I've been on diets on and off my whole life, and salad has been a part of every diet. I see a salad, there's no joy. It sends me in the other direction, salad. What would you like on your salad? haagen -Dazs. <laughs> She said, how about steamed vegetables? Oh, you spoil me. <laughs> That's heated salad. She said, how, how about sushi? There are some wonderful Japanese dishes. Japanese food has great aesthetics, great presentation, but sushi, it's wrapped in seaweed. Now that's ocean salad. <laughs> now I don't think you're supposed to eat seaweed. I know it's good for you. But I pick it out of the crack of my butt at the beach. <laughs> Is that really food? I never went to the beach and went, hey honey, we got sandwiches here, hold on. <laughs> What are you ordering pizza for? Is it, it's an ass vegetable. Is that, is that how it's harvested? Are there sumo wrestlers up and down the beach in Japan? I'm full now. My nutritionist made me add uh, different vegetables and fruits, and, and I've added a lot of them. It's, I, I didn't know about antioxidants. I guess I was always pro-oxidant. Now I have blueberries, strawberries, cucumbers, avocado. And some I, I, I tried, I couldn't. I think everybody has a vegetable they hate, or vegetables. Remember President Bush, the first one, the good one, it turns out. Um, he banned broccoli from the White House. I love that. I love the passion of it. Anybody brings broccoli in, kill him. <laughs> There are vegetables people hate that much. With me, it's turnips. My nutritionist said, why don't you try turnips? I said, I can't. I had a turnip incident. <laughs> a few years ago, I had my family over for Thanksgiving. I was going to have it catered, but they said, no, we'll bring the food. I wanted to have it catered. <laughs> there were 10 of us, our two sisters. One brings an 11-pound turkey, this big. <laughs> I didn't know they made them that small. It must have got hit by a car. I could have put it on my chest and ate it like an otter. I said, tell me there are nine more turkeys just like this in the kitchen. Tell me this is like the Cornish game hen of turkeys. And my other sister brings vegetables, and she brought these turnips. I don't understand turnips. They're a horrible vegetable. They smell, they're not easy to cook. You can't cut them with any knife in the kitchen. You have to bang them off the concrete for an hour to soften them up. <laughs> then you have to boil them for eight hours. If it's that difficult, it doesn't want to be food. <laughs> turnips are a root vegetable. They grow in the ground. That means at the beginning of the world, God made the turnip and went, no, <laughs> this didn't come out right. Gabriel tried it. <gasps> you don't like it either, huh? Well, you know what? I'll bury it and they won't find it. <laughs> well, my sister dug it up and brought it to my house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Why do we start eating turnips? I, I think a product of famine. Maybe the Irish famine of the 1840s. I'm starving, Clancy. I'm going to eat a turnip. <laughs> Don't do it, Seamus. <laughs> so my sister put all these turnips on my plate, and I had to eat them. <laughs> and it's a very gassy vegetable. 
It is. We finished a meal. I'm driving to a football game. My friend Billy was driving. My friend Kenny was in the back. I had a gas attack. Before I could say, excuse me, we hit a guardrail. <laughs> Billy went right down. Apparently, with the sound I made, he thought he had been shot. <laughs> and it was wintertime. The windows were rolled up. The heat was on. My friend Kenny was in back. They had child-proof windows. They wouldn't go down. I can still see his face. He passed out. He said it was peaceful, and he walked towards a bright light. He saw his grandfather in a white robe, and he was yelling at him. Go back. He just has gas.